All right, standing and being in base. Here's our next lesson on this. Get your feet apart so you have a nice wide base here. This is the most common and most basic elements of jujitsu. This idea of base. You'll hear it all the time. So you've got to get your knees bent. All right, feet apart. Feet apart here. Bend your knees more. And that's one thing you're going to find if you're, uh, you know, dads or coaches, instructors, professors, you're going to find that with, at least with teaching kids, you're going to have to overemphasize, always be saying, bend your knees more, get your base better. Um, you're going to find yourself always having to say that with, with the children's classes, um, especially. So get those knees bent, you got to lower your center of gravity. Now watch, exercise number one, if I go to push you, if I get your, right, okay, not bad. Go to push me. On my shoulder, push me. See how you get me to lean this way? Run, run, run. Push, 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 push. All right? Go to push me now. I'm going to get a little bit. Push. Make your pressure. Push me. Come on, make your push. Good. All right. Do you see how I made a little bit of energy into you? It's the subtle, <laughs> the subtle energy. You didn't think that was that funny, did you? All right, get your base. Get your base. Get your base. Base is, look, look, come on. Bend those knees, put some pressure into my hand, right? And then when I let go, you shouldn't flop forward. Go and push into me. Push, 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 let go. No good. Because I was too much. I get my base, push. You got me, you're, you're, you're overarching me this way, right? Now go back, push me again. Push, 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 let go. And if, I, and if I fall down, that means it was too much this way. So I can't go too much this way. I can't let you push me this way. I've got to find this center of gravity, so to speak. So I've got to push me again. I'm in base. I lean into you. Let go. <sighs> I can stay. See? Get in base. Good. I'm going to push you. Lean into my hand. Very good. All right. Again. Good. Okay, exercise number two. These are base exercises. Get your stance, your base. I grab your arm. I pull you this way. That was easy. That must be really big and powerful. You don't want a bully or a stranger or anybody to be able to come up to you, grab your arm, and say, hey, let's go, kid. No, oh, you got it that time. So get in base. And now your weight shift this way. I grab your arm, shift your weight that way. It makes it harder. And if I let go, you shouldn't fall. So it's the same idea. Hold my arm. Both hands. Both. Pull me. Pull me, pull me, pull me, pull me. Let go. Oh, I shouldn't fall. Because if I fall, I wouldn't have what? I wouldn't have my power in my base. Get in base. Okay, I'm going to grab you. You see how you turned your base? Good. Now freeze. I'm pulling you this way. Lean that way. Lean that way. I right, keep pulling you. Keep jumping into your base. Good. Jump back into your base. Good. Lean your weight that way. Very good. Now let's face it. A grown adult is going to be able to pull a child. But do you see how you made it harder for me? If I was a, if I was a, a bad guy, if I was somebody trying to take you, if it was a bully trying to just force you to do something, do you see how it made it much harder? This is the importance of base. Now watch the other thing. If I have base like this and I'm facing you and my melon's hanging out here, take your hand in the back of my melon and now snap me forward. Now I'm going to fall down. So I didn't have base. I didn't have it. Getting base. Base. Bend your knees. Bend your knees. Neck up straight. Right. Don't let me snap your head now. Good. Very good. What's the strongest structure that someone can build? Pyramid. Pyramid here, 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 here. Kind of looks like a triangle. One of the essential elements, if you would, shapes in jiu-jitsu. Your posture is kind of coming up here. You think of yourself like a pyramid. And here. I've got a slight arch this way, but my head's not hanging out for easy pickings where you can snap me down. See? Here, I've got good base. Now bring your elbows in like this. Bring your hands like you're holding two cans of soda. All right? What do you like to drink? Mountain Dew, Sprite, Coke, Dr. Pepper? What do you like? Dr. Pepper. 
All right, think about holding two cans of Dr. Pepper here, right here. Got your elbows in, you got your base, and now you have a little bit of an arch, almost like a pyramid would arch forward a little bit, right like that. Your head's tight, and you're not gonna be, right, you're moving your feet, exactly. I try to grab you, you're gonna have to let go of that Dr. Pepper, grab my hand, force it out. But that's gonna be for the next lesson, okay? Those are our exercises for getting into base. There's three of them. Somebody tries to pull you, get in base, lean your weight that way, good. The second one, someone tries to push you, get in base, get in base, push into my arm, right, good, good. The third one was, face me, knees are bent, elbows in like you're holding two cans of soda. Oh, don't go for me yet, I'm gonna try to pull your melon down. Good, don't let them snap your head down. Wow, we talk fast, we move fast, we train fast. Why don't you leave a fast comment below? We'll see you on the next video.